Well, many of us do struggle to get an appointment with our doctors as the nation grapples with a shortage of health care professionals, and it's even worse in many rural areas. Gates County, for instance, instance, has no practicing doctors. A nurse practitioner in Gates County has an idea that might help get health care services to more rural residents. Our Stephanie Hudson is here to tell us about this new venture. The new venture is actually an old time practice and it's gaining increasing interest nationwide. Past the cotton fields and down the gravel road, Mary Berry is delivering health care in a Hyundai. It's everything you need to survive in the country. Bud Barden and his wife Peggy are two of her first patients. So let's do your family history. Um, on your mom's side, do you have heart disease? Gates County, population just over 10,000, does not have a practicing doctor. Residents have to drive 30 to 45 minutes to Suffolk, Franklin, or Ahoskie to see one. The service that she supplies us at this time in our life is like a blessing, and uh, I call her the angel in transit. Barry is breathing new life into the old-fashioned house call. As a nurse practitioner, she can help manage chronic conditions such as heart disease and diabetes and treat common colds, flu, sinus infections, or injuries. Honestly, I think mobile services are where it's at because of the person you can go to the person. Why bring a bunch of sick people to a waiting room to infect everybody where you can just leave them at home in the comfort of their home? Barry has an affinity for the older population, which is growing. With Peggy's situation, to get her there is such a, a chore right now, a struggle. With mobile technology, she can write a prescription, do lab work right in their living room, even order a mobile x-ray to the door. You Are you those? having any pain? Am I having any pains? Uh -uh. Yeah, in your body, mm -mm, anywhere. Mm -mm. Providers benefit from observing patients in their own environment and getting to know them better. Some people say I'm too personable, and I do put my heart into it and bless my husband's soul. You know, he, he catches it all. A 2021 government report found house calls can eliminate barriers to health care for the developmentally disabled and prevent long wait times for primary care appointments and in emergency departments. Oh, that's a blessing here. I mean, well, what can you say? I mean, I'm still, I'm still bewildered. It's a blessing for Barry, too. She no longer commutes three hours a day to and from a job in the city. And while she is still putting miles on her car, these quiet country roads deliver job satisfaction and wide open possibilities for providers and patients. Maybe people will say, hey, she did it in Gates County, I can do it here. Many hospital systems are also offering some home health care now. However, they're facing some challenges. One is finding people like Barry who want to do it. The other is internet and technology support in homes. Stephanie Hudson, 10 on your side.